Hi guys, it's me, Steph. Hey, um, I just wanted to give you an update. Today, I'm so excited because I gained 0.4. Now, it's my first time I ever went up and um, I feel okay about that because yesterday I dropped three and all together I'm 15.4 uh, today. So, and that's day 11. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about maybe what's up. First of all, what's up is I almost forgot to weigh in this morning. And um, also, I went from sublingual to injections uh, last night. Um, what happened was when I met with Hebby Dobby and Lynn and um, Gina in Seattle, we sat, oh my gosh, I don't know, four or five hours. All we did was sit in a coffee shop the whole time and talk HCG. So as I was sitting next to Heavy Dobby, I asked her, where do people get needles? Can't you just go over the counter somewhere? And she told me you can at Walmart. So I looked it up on the internet. Sure enough, you can. So I went in there and I had no idea what I was ordering. And so I had to go up there and uh, pretend like I was getting stuff for a diabetic person that I didn't know what the size their needles were or whatever. It was hilarious. Anyway, so I ended up walking away and pretending like I was going to go call my diabetic relative that I needed to buy needles for. Because, I mean, you know, I'm not going to stand there and say, I need HCG needles, you know. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing. We're, we're sneaking around, I guess, you know. We're illegal. Anyway, so um, I, I uh, came back after I just stood there on my phone and googled and googled HCG syringes, HCG needle sizes, blah, blah, blah. So HCG mixing instructions, I mean, I was, it took me so long. So I went back, I bought some different needles, then I second guessed myself, did I buy the right needles? So I ended up buying uh, diabetic needles, 29 gauge, one half inch needles, hope this helps somebody because this was a nightmare for me to figure out. And I bought the ones that have 100 units. They're one uh, milliliter. So I fill them to 20 units. And I got all that off all kinds of different sites. I wanted to check, double check, 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 check and make sure I was doing it right. So, so they're teensy weensy little needles. I mean, they, you can only just kind of barely feel the prick. So, um, so my husband and I are doing that and oh my gosh, it is so, much more convenient than sublingual. Now, I don't know, you know, if I feel any different because I don't know if I was getting much HCG and doing the under the tongue thing or what, but it's more convenient. I mean, drink your coffee. You don't have to have, you know, have anything in your mouth forever. And so um, it was great. And that's the one thing about, you know, meeting with people. I don't know how much I learned yesterday, but I learned a lot, a lot. Cause we just sit there, you know, I was like Miss Questioner. Just sit there and um, ask each other questions like, what'd you do when you were doing this? What'd you do? What'd you do? Well, how do you do this? What do you do that? Where did you get that? You know, so um, it was really fun to be able to just pick everyone's brains and um, they're probably all exhausted because I um, asked them so many questions. But uh, we just had such a great time. And what was really neat is that Gina brought her two kids and um, little daughter. And so, um, gosh, you know, you don't have to... Uh, you know, drop your life to meet with HCG people. So um, it was really fun. And then afterwards, I went to um, Pike's Place Market by myself, and I went to one of the produce stands, and I got myself an apple, and it was so big, I counted it as my two apples. So yesterday's eating was so funked out, because I didn't eat, I didn't eat, and I left there. I don't even know what time I left there, what, 3.30 or 4 or something, and I hadn't eaten yet. So um, I... I got that apple and I counted that as two apples because I ate it on the way and then I got fennel have you guys ever gotten fennel before fennel is like anise it's um it's like the taste of black licorice and one of my favorite candies is getting plenty and I love black licorice so I was um, overeating fennel I'm sure so I think I overdid my uh, fennel intake yesterday and um, that probably had a lot to do with um, what went down with my um, point four. maybe I don't care I'm not gonna uh, analyze it too much but you guys have a great day bye